guys. Welcome back to my channel, Brian the Feridian. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is Valentine's Day, February 14, 2023. Don't forget your spouse, guys. Make sure you get her card, flowers. Make sure you get that box of chocolate. If you haven't got it, got it yet, definitely get it before this video because you guys will be in big trouble. But guys, hope you guys are doing well. Today, actually me and my wife went out for a nice Valentine's Day lunch. Uh, there was a brand new Mexican cantina, can, cantina that opened up down the street from my house, about, about two miles away. That was supposed to open up about a month ago, but they finally opened up uh, just in time for Valentine's Day. We went there for a nice lunch. The ambi ambiance was nice. The, the atmosphere was really nice. Great food. But got home from, from that lunch and checked my mailbox. Got a mail call. So this is a raffle that I won from South of West Shavers through John Romanoff, also who goes by the SMG, uh, Shave Master General, who happen, happens, to be, happens to also own SMG soaps. Check them out, guys. Great artisan, nice soaps, shaving soaps, um, bombs, aftershaves. But he's also an admins of, you know, an admins from South of West Shavers. One of the, I believe one of the founding members from South of West Shavers. And a week, week ago, he had a raffle, a free raffle for members of South of West Shavers. If they just entered their name, I, I get the, if they just made a comment that they were in by saying, Happy Valentine's Day, uh, they would be entered into this free, free raffle. And I graciously won the raffle. I was not expecting it at all. I just, I was, I put my, I put my name in a lot of raffles and I, and I, nine times out of 10, I don't win raffles very often, but Happened to, win, happened to win this one here. So very excited. It's one of his soaps from that, I think he made only three soaps and splashes for for Valentine's Day. And this is one of them right here. So I'm gonna take a look and see it. I'm gonna take a mail call. And I just I just cut the end of this package up. So just for, for the, so you guys can see quickly what I got in this mail call. And I plan to shave whatever's in this bag, plan to shave with it, so. So I just cut this off, and the first thing I saw was this right here. So I knew he put a razor in here, but I'm not sure what kind of razor is this. I never, I've heard of this razor, but never really had a chance to try one, but it's called a Rock Nell. Uh, 316 stainless steel, so let's take a look and see what's in here. So what is this? Okay. So this looks like the the box it came in. There's a little label attached to the razor. Uh, some blades. And it looks like a little canvas bag in here with it also. That's the razor's laying on top of it. Let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, very heavy. So this is, I believe the Rocknell single bladed razor. And as you can tell, Pretty, pretty solid looking razor. Um, nice length, very heavy. And I believe this is a three piece. I believe this thing comes off. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. So excited I got this, John. Thank you, thank you, John Romanoff for this raffle. And I'm gonna see if, I think this, I think it's three piece. Maybe it's one piece or two pieces actually. So I believe you load the blade right through that little slit right there. See that little slit? So I believe it takes half D blades or, you know, it depends on what kind of, I think these blades that came with it are half D blades. Let's go ahead and screw that back on. But pretty nice touch, look at that label, really nice. Has the uh, Dear Customer on the back. This product is produced with 316 stainless steel Polished operations are made by hand. Product consists of three parts, head holder and, and set screw. But I only see one, I only see two parts. So let's try this out. Let's, I mean, once I load it up, I'll, I'll figure out if it's re really three pieces or not. But very nice touch. Yeah, definitely re ready to try this out. I think he put this in a raffle because it wasn't getting any love from him, but I'll definitely see how much love I, I can give this razor. 
and get some more use, get some get some good uses out of this razor and, and test it out. So I'll be using that razor for my shave, guys. What else I got in here? So there's another package in this bag right here. All right. So this is what I've been anticipating on getting was this soap right here because I know it's very. There's only three soaps made in existence. So this is from SMG Soaps Rose Rose de Valentine. Pretty cool looking packaging. Packaging. See the roses on the on the very on the outside label there. And I love this container. Very very nice. Kind of reminds me of the containers that come from. Uh, Bear Stern Man, look at that. Clear container. On the back it says the ingredients are, are you know, the ingredient list is right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm going to kind of hopefully focus for you guys. But yeah, very nice touch. It says smgsoaps.com. Definitely guys check it out. Very, very, very nice products there. And let's take a sniffle, sniff of this. There's the inside of it. Yeah, definitely strong rose floral scent. Very, very nice. Very, very soothing actually. So definitely excited about trying this out. So this will be a this will be for my shave also. And it's gonna be the SMG Rose de la Valentine. And what's I got in this little bag here? Like a like a <laughs> it's almost like Christmas time for me going through a package. So anyway, guys, <laughs> here's the aftershave that came with it. Uh, 100 mLs, nice looking um, bottle there. Yeah, very, very nice looking presentation. So great looking label, the container, the soap looks great. So is the aftershave looks really nice, the label, I love it. And last but not least, there's one more thing in here. Let's see, I think I remember I saw the picture on the uh, Facebook posts, and it's a brush. So he included everything I, I would need for a shave, including the blades. So this is a Barkley brush from Simpson, and it's a pure badger, but feels very soft though. I, I just can't believe it's pure badger. It's probably, I mean, it feels like a synthetic brush to me. So. A little bit on the small side, but I'm gonna use it for the shave. Pretty excited about trying this out. Yeah, this will be the first badger, pure badger I've used since I got in wet shaving. So this will be my brush. And I'm gonna use one of the blades that came with the razor. Let's take a look and see what we got here. So I got these little package of blades that came in the box. So let's do a little bit of, uh, let's see if I can, First one I pick out, I'm gonna use for the shave. And I'll probably do a quick two pass shave because I don't want this video to be a half, be an hour long, so. All right, so I don't know what, I'm gonna be going with a sharp blade then. And I believe these are, like I said, they're half D blades, I believe. So it looks like that's what it is. So I'll be putting this in the Rocknell razor. So guys, let me go over to my face. Let me get my face fully hydrated for this shave. Not really sure. Not really not sure what to expect from this razor. Not sure if it's aggressive or or mild, but I will surely find out with this sharp blade. But anyway, guys, let me rinse my face, and I will be right back. All right, guys, got the face fully hydrated and washed, and ready for my shave. And I got the soap loaded up on the Barkley Simpson brush. And I have a bowl out of here, so this is in my Doug Smith shaving bowl. And very nice, very nice scent. This is a nice rose. Yeah, just a very nice floral scent. I, that's the way to describe it, exactly like it, like it says. Uh, rose, de, rose de Valentine is the appropriate name for this soap because it smells exactly like it says. Nice rose floral scent. Uh, maybe a little bit of, I can smell maybe a little bit of musk in there, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what the John, I don't, I'm not sure what the scent notes are, John, but they're, they are nice. I mean, they go together pretty well. And the soap is pretty strong. I, I can smell probably, I would say my whole bathroom smells like rose. I would say on a scent strength from zero to 10, this would be probably about an eight for scent strength on the soap. 
But let's go ahead and put this on the face. First time using a pure badger since I started white shaving. So let's see how this works. And definitely scratchy. <laughs> I remember when my first, one of my first brushes for shaving was one of those brushes from Amazon. I think it was a pure badger. I can't think of the name of the brush, but it was one of those, you know, one of those mass selling brushes you see on Amazon. It might have been Escada or something, one of those brands like that, but you know, it was definitely inexpensive. I bought it because I didn't know any better. I didn't know I didn't know if, if brushes were, were different. I, you know, I definitely didn't know the difference between a boar and a badger brush or the different grades of badger back then. I just pretty much bought the br first brush I saw. But I know there's different, definitely different, you know, the, the uh, pure badger, it does vary from brand to brand, you know, from brush maker, brush maker to brush maker, so. But this one seems to be lathering pretty nicely. It's a small, it's a small knot. I'm, I'm guessing it's about 22, 22 um, millimeter, not on this brush here, because it's definitely small. Not quite the size of a Wee Scott from Simpson, but but maybe a, a tad bigger than that. But man, nice lather so far from this SMG soap. Yeah, thanks, thanks John for this raffle. I'm so surprised I won this, and just very gracious that I received this from you. And I got this, like I said, I got this, I probably got it, I probably got it yesterday. Actually, matter of fact, because I, I didn't check my mail Monday. So, it might have been in mailbox. Yeah, it might, it might have been in mailbox since yesterday. But I got home from, from my lunch, my Valentine's lunch today with my wife. And I went to the mailbox, and this is the first thing I saw was this package, so. But definitely got it in the mail quickly, so thanks, John. I think that should be enough for the first pass. As you can see, it's lathers really well. The scent is very nice, very, very pleasant scent. So this will be my first pass with a rock nail razor. Never used one before. This is the single blade razor. And I inserted that blade right through that little, I mean, you can see them from the side. There's little slits right there. And the tabs were sticking out. So I just simply just broke off the tabs because the head is actually a little bit more narrow than, than the actual blade. So. I just put the blade in there, broke up the tabs. So hopefully this blade will hold still or hold in the same position, the whole shade. Not sure if it will, but let's take a look and see how it does for the first pass here. Definitely head heavy on this razor. I know Rocktail's, Rocktail's been around for a while, so I never really got to really use them with their razors, but I'm glad I, I have a chance right now. And so far, not too bad. The soap is nice and slick. Razor is not, is not too bad, not too aggressive. Yeah, I would say about medium aggressive for this razor. Yeah, S SMG soaps are awesome. Nice lather, plenty slick. My favorite soap from SMG is, if I can find it right here, is the Sons of Wet Shaving. This is my one of my favorite scents. Great stuff. Um, definitely a nice, nice looking um, presentation on the on the on the label too. Also on the soap. So very, yeah, very nice soaps. I mean, not too, not too shabby with the label art and the soap base. Really, really nice. Both these are the one I just showed you is definitely on the 
opposite end of the spectrum. That, was, that one's more of a leather gun gunpowder type scent. This is more of a pleasant. Not, not saying this is not saying that wasn't pleasant, but this one's definitely a little bit more on the. Uh, sorry, John, feminine side, <laughs> but but very very nice. I can see my wife probably taking this and barring the soap, wanting to use it. But definitely, definitely nice enough for me to use because it is nice smelling. Yeah, I'm not sure what else is in there. Rose, maybe some cedar. I don't. There's a musk in there, and it's, it's not too. I mean, it's floral, but it's not not crazy floral. If that makes any sense. But man, nice pass. Look at that. Nice pass with the rock nail. And also with his SMG Rose de Valentine. Nice, nice soap, nice scent. This is my cut from a previous shave. I put my Rex Ambassador on on six. I was just experimenting how high I can go with the setting and I went a little bit too high and nicked myself with the with the with the blade. So definitely be careful when you're ever using Rex Ambassador with a feather blade and you're going up to a higher setting, this can happen if you're not paying attention. But guys, first pass is really nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, the razor shave's really, really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna miss my face and I'll be back for that second pass. All right, guys, I'm back. First pass was really fantastic with that razor and that, that soap. And I, one thing I noticed about SMG soaps, they've, he's been putting some great stuff in, in his ingredient list. I think I think he's been adding a little bit more to it to make it more more slick because the last time I used one of his soaps, which was the uh, Sons of Wet Shaving, it wasn't quite as slick as this one. This one is, but man, this is definitely a little more slicker. And I'm looking at the ingredients, and I see that he added coconut oil to it, so maybe that makes it more slick. But man, it is nice. All right, guys, let's do that second pass here. Second face lather. Take a little bit out of this. Bit soap out of that bowl and use it for the shave here. Yeah, one thing about the pure badger is one thing I remember is it doesn't lather, it doesn't build lather as good as the uh, higher higher graded badgers, in my opinion. Once I started, once I started using a synthetic brush, you know, it was really easy to build face lather, you know, with, with soaps, a lot more easier than my pure badger I had before. So, but this one, this one's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad of a brush. The other sense of the brush I have that I really like using is also my my Tro Figure uh, 3, which is a synthetic knot or synthetic brush that they put out, I want to say about a year ago. And I got that from Amazon. That's one of the best, one of the best synthetic brushes I've probably picked up in quite a while. But there are so many good brushes out there for synthetics that lather really well. But this is not doing too bad for our, our pure badger. All right, that should be good enough for good enough for another pass. So I'll be doing a two pass shave for this for this razor because I don't wanna, I don't want to get too crazy with the uh, nicks that I already have for my last shave. So let me go against the grain here. Yeah, that number six setting on the Rex Ambassador with the feather blade was a little bit rough on my shit on my face. Last night. <laughs> lots of all lot lots of all on block on this. I did had to use to get the bleeding down.
But this razor is not bad. It's really nice. It's just right the right amount of aggression for a single blade razor. Very efficient. I'm not sure what the blade gap is, but man, it is really efficient and very not too aggressive. I wouldn't say very mild, but it's mild enough to be maybe a daily driver. Yeah, I'm smelling, man, I'm trying to think if I smell anything from rose and definitely musk. Some, there's something else in there in this soap scent profile than just, just, just the rose. Maybe lavender too? I'm not really sure what. So John, if you can tell me what the scent notes are, if you can put them in the comments below, I would love to know what this, what the scent profile is. What's in it, what's in it besides rose? Yeah, this head is really nice. Not too bad for a razor. I think it's one of the best, one of the best single edge bladed razors I've probably used in, in a while. I love my, I love my my supply razor, the SE, you know, the SE, uh, this guy right here. I love this razor, but this is might might be a little bit better than that. And I love the twig leaf razor too. That's a single edge edge razor as well. But this is actually pretty good. All right, let's go like this. Green underneath the nose here. Yeah, pretty decent shave. All right, guys, let me rinse my face, guys. I'll be back for that post shave. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. That was a beautiful shave. Great products. The soap was slick, super slick. Um, great lather. Can't say enough good things for, about SMG soaps. And one thing to mention, I did look back at the ingredients. I compared them with this, with the... Uh, Rose de Valentine, it's the same realist, but for some reason, to me, it feels a little more slicker. I'm not sure if the ratio is a little bit different in some of the ingredients, but man, it is a it is a it is a pretty darn good uh, soap base. Definitely good slickness and great lather. But let's go let's get back to the uh, post shave. I'll be using this right here, which is the SMG uh, Rose de Valentine. Let me shake this up. This is alcohol based and also witch hazel based after shave. And I believe there's there's a little bit of veg, uh, vegetable glycerin in here too. It's a nice scent. Let's see, very nice scent. Yeah, very nice scent. I do smell a little bit of musk in this, man. Musk is more pronounced, or cedar wood, or something in this besides the rose, but it smells very very pleasant. Yeah, definitely, definitely a very Unique uh, unisex uh, type scent, but man, this is very enjoyable for me to use. That's for sure. And I can see, like I said, I can see my wife probably, if I don't, if I'm, you know, behind my back, probably grab this for her, for herself too. And I, that was my, sh that was that was the stuff I used for the shave. And I used the Rocknell, the three sixteen stainless steel razor, the single edge blade. And this is the first time I ever used this. And I think this has been out for at least three or four years, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of went back on, online and to see when this came out. And I think this has been out for a little while. But I'm so glad I got a chance to try it because it is, a, it is a pretty good, fine razor. Nice, efficient, smooth. It's definitely head heavy. So you definitely don't have to push down at all. You just let the let the head do all the work. But definitely a nice razor. And imagine you would... I broke off the tab, so I imagine you would push out the old blade... By pushing in a new blade so much like the injector style razors you know, where you push out the with the key you push out the old old blade and put the new blade in there pretty much pretty much almost the same but you do this by hand with the blade so you gotta be careful so i use that i use the simpson barkley pure badger brush so all these things for were from the free raffle from smg that he did a week ago 
and I'm so graciously honored to be able to win that and lucky to win that. I'm, I actually, I just can't believe I won this raffle. And like I said, nine times out of 10, I enter my names in raffles and I, and I, I don't win, but this is the first time I won in a while. So I'm so glad I won a raffle. And I just encourage you guys, if you guys see raffles on shape groups or anywhere, don't hesitate. Just put your, especially a free raffle, just has, don't, just put your name in because nine times out of 10, you might not win, but that one time, that one time you will win. And, and it's, it's definitely worth it to win something like this, especially a whole shave set up from, uh, you know, from SMG like this, the razor, the brush and the soap after shave splash and the blades. You can't, I mean, just the generosity for him, for him to do that is phenomenal. And I'm just so thankful for, uh, being able to have an opportunity to win this because this is really, really good stuff. But guys, I encourage you guys, definitely if you live in Florida, definitely try to join self-aware shavers. Or, you know, if you don't live in Florida, join a wet, you know, join a wet shave group that's nearby. But I encourage you guys, if, if you if you guys live in Florida, definitely definitely join wet, you know, self-aware shavers because it's one of those best shaving groups. Maybe I'm biased, I mean, maybe I'm from Florida, but to me, best group of guys out there, best, I mean, they're like family, just all around guys, great, I mean, the kind of guys, the kind of friendships I will have for quite a while, probably the rest of my life, but not just wet shaving, just friendship, it's just, a, you know, just shape groups, you know, you, you join a shape group, just, you know, to meet people that are interested in the, in the, same, you know, the same hobby of wet shaving, but also you develop friendships, you know, you also develop, uh, you know, also develop this the relationships where you, you can trade stuff, you know, and do raffles, make raffles, pip stuff to new people. You know, like I said, it's just it's just a very giving hobby to be in involved with. And especially being involved with Subway Wish Shavers, one of the best groups out there. And I'm sure I'm like I said, I'm biased, but there are other groups out there, guys. If you guys are live outside of Florida or anywhere in the country in a shave group nearby, definitely join because it's definitely worth it. Alright guys, that's a shave. Thanks for watching. And big thanks to John Romano for, for being so generous and for giving me the opportunity to win this raffle. And I, like I said, I just can't thank, you know, thank you enough for, for being so generous for this raffle. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys take care. Hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day. And if you can hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you guys there. Take care.